everybody. It's Saturday the 24th, is it? I think it's the 24th of July. So I've actually got this one in on time. It's my um, Woolly Steph Art Club and it's the Steampunk page. So we'll just um, get to that and see if I can remember to credit everybody that I've got some influence off. So this is my page. I hope you can see that okay. Um, now I had to do a lot of research because I've never done steampunk before. I've never done anything in steampunk. So uh, I had to look. Um, I went around the internet, on Pinterest, everything. And it sort of came out to me that there was sort of a masculine type of steampunk and also the feminine type which I really like you know sort of the floral steampunk so I've had a go at that um, now then I got some some of you know the usual cogs and things like that and the the clock now what I really liked was this verdigris colour um, that I saw on some of the images that I found, some of the examples and so I got some of this, this is the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics and this colour is Crystal Green because uh, I thought well that was the one that you know most matched so I've used that on some of the what I did was to do the black gesso practically over everything, all the little metal parts and this, um, the heart background, is just um, following an example of D's at Betsy Doodle. Where I used um, a piece of wallpaper actually, it was silver, but I black gessoed it. And then, um, with my new Lindy sprays, I, I used this one. And I'm not sure what colour this is. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, copper brown basically and sprayed over and give it a spray and note to self I need to make myself one of those boxes that people do their spraying into because well yeah had to do a bit of cleaning before I could carry on but anyway uh, so I used one of these Santoro Willow and I just love the little image. I thought, oh yeah, I can, I can do something with that. So I pop that in. She's got sort of cogs and everything around her hair. And um, I must stop saying erm. Um. I went to visit my uncle the other day and he pointed out that I say erm um, too many times in my videos. I'll try to pull myself up, although I probably will still slip up and do it quite a few times. But anyway back to the point I pop this I, I did another heart shape cut her, cut her out with a heart shape die and then just filled in here and there now when I was watching uh, Maggie Mags Lockley doing hers and oh she did make me giggle but that that's her video if, if you want a good giggle <laughs> If you want to go giggle at the end of her video, go and have a listen to what she says about the googly eyes. So funny. But anyway, um, let's see, I've just done it again. I used two little gold gems to pop over her eyes because Maggie did that originally and then took them off and put googly eyes on, which, you know, both worked. Both look really nice. So... Then I've um, I put a little corner, you know, on those. Um, I'm doing it again. I can't seem to stop it. One of those, you know, the page, the box corners that you put on. So I use one of those. This is actually from Artie Mays. Uh, one of her the digital downloads that you can get from. Etsy, her Etsy shop. So I went in and I purchased the steampunk collection from Artie Mays. Oh god blimey, absolutely gorgeous images. 
so but I've used this um, this is like by way of a, an explanation of what steampunk is as per crafting and if I put my readers on I'll just quickly read it to you and it says steampunk is a type of science fiction and fantasy two key features are a Victorian or alternate reality setting and futuristic inventions powered by steam gears and clockwork parts so I thought well as I'm you know this is all a learning curve for me for steampunk I'll put the whole explanation in and so in the I've, I've also got to credit Antonio because I've followed his example with the old what's it called Pebio the gilding wax anyway the gold gilding wax so I've gone round the outside of the heart with that and I've just used I've also used a bit of this uh, metallic paint to give it a you know on these cogs and what have you just a bit of a pinky colour as well to make just to add to the feminism side and a bit of twine but I've also put some of the gilding wax on and just um, a paper rose that I had so um, that's more or less it that's my you know the clock that I use the verdigris colour paint on as well and I got some of these from I think it was Home Bargains in their craft section and they looked a little bit steampunk not all of them but a couple of them did but I got an absolute load of those um, all different types um, and they're brads and I thought well they're, they're I can use one of those in this so I've just put that through the centre of the clock instead of hands and then I back the whole heart onto a piece of navy blue and then stuck that in my journal so hopefully I've explained everything okay um, I say this was all really new to me but you know I have so enjoyed the research finding out about it and looking at people's videos on YouTube going on to Pinterest I mean that's what I really enjoy is all and why I love this kind of thing these journals is to um, we get a different prompt every couple of weeks and if it's something new to me I can go off and do research and, and really enjoy it and you know I spent this has probably been about I don't know maybe eight days in the thinking in my head and researching and what have you and it's just took me about an hour to put together you know I don't know what you think of it um, hopefully you like it but this is my take anyway on the steampunk for the Woolly Steph art club for this week or this fortnight I should say so I um, just thought I'd show you that I'm going to come back on in not too distant future to do some VRs because there's a few lovely ladies um, doing giveaways and things and you know I like to support people so I'll get um, a little video done and do the VRs and I'll try and keep it as short as possible but there you go so that's my Woolly Steph Art Club for this fortnight my steampunk page thank you all very very much for watching and really do appreciate it thank you bye bye